Hello, good afternoon. So I'm actually having my Christmas mukbang and I have a few questions that I want to answer. So can you guys see me? Oh, hi Laverne. Hi, what's up? So I've put together my seafood boil, which is lobster, egg, sausage, corn, shrimp, and potatoes. I can't eat off all of this, but I'm just going to try, you know, to see exactly how much me can eat because me can't eat much. And that is why I didn't go with crab because I know that I honestly would not be able to eat off everything. And then I have some wine here. No, it's just sparkling champagne. So, um, to just have it down. Then I have my sauce. So, I'm going to try and see how much we can eat while answering these questions. So, I think I have six questions that I want to answer. Let me see. Let's start eat first. So, let me try the egg. The sauce hot, you know. Okay. It's hot. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Miss Gwen. What's up? Yes, I'm actually going to be answering. The first question is, what is the ideal weight that you want to achieve? For me, I'm going to be eating and answering. So, I want to get to 180. I'm not very far from there now. But I definitely want to get to 180. I had gone down to 164 some time ago. And I didn't like how my face look. Because I had a little sink at the side here. And I didn't like it. So... Now that I'm doing my weight loss again, I just want to go to probably 180, 190. And just stay right there and maintain it. I can do it. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing once I reach where I want to reach. And the second question is, what are your plans after losing, well, after losing the weight, my plan is to maintain it. So that's exactly what I plan on doing. This thing is so hot, but it's so good. I'm going to try to maintain it as best as possible. Hi, Kian. What's up, cuz? So, um, the third question is, what is your biggest fear on this year weight loss journey? So, my biggest fear is, remember, I'm eating. My biggest fear is not losing the ideal weight that I want to reach. But I know that with, with God's help, my dedication and determination, I will get to that ideal weight. All right? So for that person that sent in that question, that is my biggest fear. So let me try the potato. Wow, this is good. Oh, yeah, good care. That's nice. <laughs> hey, Janelle. I can't wait for you to start the program, girl. 
I'm so excited. Anyhow, love and me know you wish you did there to eat some of the food there now. Hey Audrey, what's up? So I'm doing my Christmas mukbang. And the other day, like probably a month ago, I purchased this Christmas suit. <laughs> I bought an extra large. When I ready to put it on today, I realized the pants can't fit me. The pants are drop off. See it there? <laughs> it's so funny. But I am super excited, you know. Me no say you don't deal with the love or anything. Me no know that. Me no say you, you don't deal with all the lobster today, see girl. And them shrimp here, yeah. Lord. See the pan here? <laughs> it's a whole lot of food, Janelle. Whole lot of food, but me know me can't eat it off, so me just have to play around with it. Somebody said, say, you know, make me go live. Because more persons are on Facebook Live than, than those on my YouTube channel. Because I don't have a lot of support on my YouTube channel. Because most of the persons on my YouTube channel are persons American. So, I don't know what is happening. But, you know, I just give God thanks. For my sub subscribers. I'm going to taste the lobster now. Hi, Miss Campbell. Send some of your fish from... Where name them again? Where the place them again? Where you buy a bummy of fish? Brother, you, you have some over there. Give me some. Oh, she and Ben. Me not ask you if you subscribe to my channel. Wow, this sauce is so good. So, so good. I mean, I know I'm going to do the rest of the food here, you know. Miss Joanna Campbell. Beg you some of the fish. Oh, the other question. <laughs> I'm sorry. So the fourth question is, what is your biggest accomplishment thus far? It all depends on what you really want me to answer. Because my biggest, biggest accomplishment thus far is accepting Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. So I don't know if you're, you're talking about on this weight loss journey. So if it is on this weight loss journey, my biggest accomplishment is me losing the weight. And the fact that I have joined a gym now and have started working out. No, the pepper burned me door. It's, it's, sorry, it's something that I can say is an accomplishment for me. Hi, goody. Hey, Nalri, what's up, girl? My day I do Christmas mukbang. <laughs> it's a lot of food, but I go on, you know, try to do what I can do. Can't eat it off. My sorry, my cousin Lover never there for help me eat it for real. So, um, oh yeah, answer the biggest accomplishment. And then, let me drink some of my champagne. I'm going to advertise nothing, so I'm going to show, show the front part of it. 
So <laughs> you love her and you have your laughing now. You see you. How are you doing, Goody? So, um, let me see if I have any more questions. So, this question say, what advice, what word of advice would you give to someone that need to start a weight loss, start a weight loss journey? All right. I would tell that person, um, you have to be, be dedicated. You have to be committed. And you need God. Because you have to ask God for the guidance and the direction. Because this thing is not easy. It's not like you're going to die today. And you, you say you want to lose 20 pounds. And by tomorrow you lose the 20 pounds. No, that's not how it goes. It's called dedication and commitment. You have to be committed. You have to. Because if you're not committed... You are not going to stick with the program. Hi, Lorette. What's up? You are definitely not going to stick with the program if you are not dedicated and you are not committed. Why this thing hot? The sauce hot. For me... It has um, become something, I would say, easy because if I get up and I say, I'm not going to have this again, I'm definitely not going to eat it again. I remember when I gave up pork, a lot of persons thought I was crazy. I just got up and I said, you know what, I'm not going to eat pork anymore. And I have not eaten pork since. Salt and sugar, I've given up, given up on that also. Hey, Irving, what's up? Yeah, I've given up salt and sugar. I have not taken salt and sugar in almost four years or going five years now. I have not taken salt and sugar. I don't use it. It's not in my diet. And persons ask me why. I gave up salt because of my high blood pressure. I gave up sugar because I thought it was bad for me. There are a lot of stuff, when I look back and I realize how my mother struggled with diabetes, also my dad, I said, mm -mm. me a break that the generation curse, cause me no want it. And it's not just my mother and my father, but other family members. I saw my aunt die. There are a lot of stuff that I look back on and I say, you know, I'm not going to let that happen to me. So I try my best to live a healthy life. Hey, Nalri. <laughs> yes, girl, I'm trying to enjoy myself with this whole heap of food. You never know where to eat. I'm about to eat the lobster. But you know, God has been good to me. Especially when you give your life to God. Oh, Jesus. Some things happen, you see, even though there are a lot of distractions, you know. But God is good. There are a lot of distractions. So I'm trying to be healthy as possible. I used to have rice here and there, but then from my found out about quinoa. Hey sis, what's up? From my found about quinoa. No turning back. I'm not ever going to have rice again. So I wish a lot of you would um switch really from rice and start having healthy stuff. I know it's kind of hard for you in Jamaica, you guys in Jamaica, but just pray God will help you. Hi, Nicey. What's up? What's up? Me all time just make a... <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is my Christmas mukbang. 
The skin is so spicy. So I had answered the question. Um, you need God. You need guidance and protection. You have to have strong willpower, determination, and a mindset. You have to have a positive mindset because if you don't have a positive mindset, you will not be focused on what you really want to achieve. And if we say we want to lose the weight, we definitely have to work hard and you have to be committed to the program. You have to. There's no if or but. You just have to be committed. All right. And the next question is, what is your biggest fear? So my biggest fear is not losing any weight. Because there's some time when sometimes when you're on the diet hey jill there's some time when you're on the diet and you're doing everything that is right and you realize that you're still not losing any weight so you tend to feel downhearted but at the same time, if you just take a tape measure and measure yourself, you'll realize that you're actually losing some inches. And you can use that as a motivation. And if you have a particular clothes like a short, I'm sorry, that has gotten tight, don't give it away. Keep it. Use that as a motivation moving forward because there's nothing more fulfilling than when you actually is on a weight loss journey and you believe you lost some weight and you draw for that one piece of clothes and you realize it can't go up now. You say, well, may I lose some weight to so make me try a little harder. So I would advise you, don't give away that one piece of clothes. Save it and measure against it. Because that, that's what I did. Because I had these shorts, really nice shorts. And I decided that, decided that you know what I mean? I get, you know? And that was what I used the very first time to measure. Hi, Anne. What's up, Mrs. Newman? Right, so that's what I actually use. And then I'm a smoothie queen. I'll have my smoothie for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Let me show you. I made my smoothie this morning. See, I'm a sweet smoothie queen. I don't give up on my smoothie. I have smoothie every day, every single day. If I don't have it, it's like a part of me is missing. Hey, my girl, Eileen, what's up? Yes, yeah, so um, I'm just actually doing a mukbang today, my Christmas mukbang. And just telling persons that, you know, the other day I bought this extra large suit for christmas and when i tried it on i think it was yesterday it has well i know he get big and me get small so me go say me get smaller but i'm giving god thanks this thing is so spicy so yes i answered the question what what's my biggest fear and my biggest fear is not losing any weight 
<laughs> you mix it and send it for me. What is that, love? What you want? Say it and you get it. If nobody are come, me send. Me no know where you are. Me no know where you ask for. You don't know your size. No, I know my size. I thought I wear extra large. But then when we go, my bad extra large. Have it in the house. Not ready for wear it. Me realize it can't fit me. Oh, so you need another what are the pajama? That's what you're saying? All right, I'll get you one. Eileen, what about the, the jam recipe? Or the video? Wait, last what? <laughs> Me lose, me lose weight. That that's why, that's why I can't fit me again. But I'm not going to do this much food, you know. Definitely no no. I promise I eat seafood. And Vijay not here. And Vijay not live with me. So it was just six questions that I had. So um, if you have any questions, you can just ask me. I'll answer. Laverne, you have any question? Eileen, you have any question? And yeah, you guys, if you have any question, you can just ask. Laverne, you love food too much. Weight loss now gonna work for you. You eat too much. But you just have to make up your mind. And it's not it's not that it's expensive because you just work with what you have. Because for those persons in Jamaica that is on my um my weight loss. One minute. That is actually using my product. Hey, cuz. Who that? Chana, what's up? Chana, the product is at Santa. Um, For those persons in Jamaica that is on the right weight loss mix. I tell them just use the, the fruits that are in season. Simple. Just use it and they'll be all right. If a June plum in a season, use June plum. <coughs> Miss Forbes, how you doing? So, me actually, yeah, doing my mukbang. This thing's spicy as hell. But we all can do it. Love and you're just lazy. We all can lose the weight. We all can go on the diet. You don't have to be using my product. You can just simply blend up your green, green juice. If you have um, Kalaloo, use Kalaloo. Use cabbage. Use anything green. Anything green and just well, my cousin, them just are strolling, so Miss Daly, what go on? Angela Chana, check with Claudia. Look for when you feel link me, you know, link me, child. Miss Regina Daly, what's up? If you have any questions, you can just ask me.
Okay, this thing hot. Nice to see you. Heal up Auntie Gertel and share it for me. Mr. Chana, how you not call me? I tell Claudia, say you're coming to her, you know, because you're original, you know. You're original. But else if you eat, you know, you tell everything in this one. Boy, my cousin never does a step in, so. Good afternoon, my darling Kenneth. How are you doing? There I have my Christmas mukbang. But I can't eat so much food. Okay, Miss Chana, as I said before, this is what this is the mix I use to make my smoothie. I can't do without my smoothie. I've made my smoothie this morning. But because I had plans to do my, I had planned to do my mukbang. So here's my smoothie. And you just cut down on what you eat. Just have minimal, minimal food. In other morning, me get up, I'll do one slice of bread with some peanut butter. Me not, me not leave out my natural peanut butter. I drink a lot of cinnamon water. For those of you that, um... Do not know. Cinnamon help you to lose weight. I just did a whole post on cinnamon on my YouTube channel that tell you the uses and benefits of using cinnamon. Cinnamon is excellent for losing weight. I remember when a friend of mine in Jamaica, um, Flowers Will Rose, she, she make a lot of cinnamon um, juices. And she was talking about on her Facebook page how this lady was using the cinnamon water, bought it from her and was using it for like a week. And she was surprised with the amount of weight that she lost. And then I said to myself, let me do a research on cinnamon. And when I did the research, I realized that, Yes, cinnamon aids in weight loss. So what I did, I went to the supermarket. I bought some cinnamon, the cinnamon stick, not the cinnamon powder, because um, you don't know what they put in the cinnamon powder. So um, I bought some cinnamon stick. I put it in the kettle, fill the kettle. When it um, was cooled, I pour it out into my container because I have a gallon container that I drink from so this is my container so I would fill this up and I have my cinnamon water in it so when I did for the first week I realized I lost five pounds but that doesn't that did not mean that I was having the cinnamon and eating yam banana dumpling no me not eat then something then I eat a lot of salad vegetables i'll have a slice of bread toast bread with my peanut butter or with a boiled egg or with some tuna it all depends on what you're having and in the amount that you're having because weight loss not easy you know you not easy some persons will tell you oh yeah man they can't lose the weight yeah it's not easy it is not easy Especially when you have a regime that you have to follow. I tell you, it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. It's a lot of dedication, a lot of commitment, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of hard work. And believe me, I can walk into a room and everybody's having KFC or the fancy food. And it doesn't matter me. No. I remember the other day, we went and... Um, we went to this park. A group of us went to the park. And it was lunchtime. And I took out my apple. And 
a slice of bread with some tuna. And everybody was like, how about that? Mrs. Come take some of the KFC and eat some fries. I'm, and I'm like, no, I'm good. I have my apple, my one slice of bread and some tuna and I drank some tea. And that was my lunch. You have to be dedicated. This is a program called weight loss. Trust me. You have to be dedicated. So you have to make up your mind to do it. And now something you just jump in up. Chana, for me, I eat a lot of salads. A lot of vegetables. If you're looking at my fridge, you know, you know, you know find things where in an ordinary person's fridge, you know, like their meat and their something, you know. No? And this man is also, I wouldn't say he's on a diet, but he watch what he eats, so it's not like he might go eat this wak wak of food. I mean, I cook him either. No. And you know the beauty about it that persons keep asking me, what are you using on your face? Let me tell you something. You see the fact that when you start, all right, because step in, step in, Audrey. You see, when you start drinking a lot of water, you don't have to even use makeup. Your face get cool and nice. I mean, we are a, a lip gloss, you know. And people ask me, what are you using on your face? Hey, face. <laughs> I use eyebrow pencil. But once you start drinking a lot of water, let me wear drink a gallon of beer. <laughs> your face get clean and nice 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 mm -hmm. nice nice complexion you have people are going to ask if you have bleach not bleach master you drink a lot of water Marsha the Jen Laverne Laverne Marsha online <laughs> May I force the food? <laughs> Any more questions? You no know, can't ask me, not ask me anything. Until no I ask. <clears throat> Man, that's something that's spicy. Yes, Larry. You see, if you drink one at this idea, girl, the magata tell you say I bleach. Because the complexion ago come so clear and nice. You know what my friend them text me and say, then how you take your picture of you brown? So me say, what kind of filter you use? Me say filter. Me not have a filter. Put cinnamon in your water, um, Larry. Cause if, if you shake up this, you can't hear the cinnamon stick in it. Put cinnamon in there. And just drink your cinnamon at daytime. <laughs> you have to lose weight, trust me. Yes, Chana, you need, you, if you want to lose weight, especially the belly fat, start having your smoothie. Start making your smoothie. You saw mine green because it's a lot of um what name spring mix I have in there. So that now I'm gonna have for my dinner. Carleen <laughs> Carleen <coughs> Look how long me I text you, you're not even reply. I want three, see see. You know, reply to none of my texts. Trust me, Larry, it's very, very good. Very, very good. I did a whole vlog because I did I did it in the form of a PowerPoint presentation where I spoke about the, the um the benefits of using um cinnamon. And you need to eat. Hi Steve. 
And you need to you need to eat a lot of sweet potato. If you no can eat sweet potato, I like Laverne we love food. Laverne can eat sweet potato every day and I lose the weight. Every single day. I was just reading about it last night. I think I'm going to do a vlog on sweet potato. The benefits and use of sweet potato. Me call you, me call you from your mother died, um, Carly. Now you know, pick up the phone. You know, you know, return me call nothing. Chana just go over Morrison. Don't buy the cinnamon powder. Or, oh, you can buy the leaves. You got some of the Jamaica. Buy the leaf from them in a the market. And just put it in the pot. Boil it. And when it cool, you just pour it in your container. I'm sorry, I'm not Jamaica because me, me definitely would have a gallon of cinnamon water every single day using the cinnamon leaf. Perfect. You lose the weight. Your skin look good. Hey, Jackie, my girlfriend. Trust me, using cinnamon for weight loss, best news me ever hear. Me not out of it. I'm going to do the research, further research on the sweet potato tonight. And see how it goes, cause me need to lose this belly fat. I'm in a, in a no joke. Carlene, I'm going to text you when I finish, cause you never answer me. You know, answer me. May you have sitting for a while over. May you, you never answer me. I was so upset. Tony, my darling, dear. What a one. Tony, come help me eat some of them food. You know, you're always a show off with your mango. I try to want to bang, but the food enough. What a one, my family, Steve. Technical every time. You know, you have to put steps in it, because steps are part of me. You know. Anytime me see. The blue and yellow. Me turn idiot. Trust me. Me turn idiot. Me have all my mask. Me send go a yard for my mask in a Steve. This girl don't play. She don't play. She don't play. Saint Elizabeth me heart there. Saint Elizabeth tech. Yeah, so as I was saying about the sweet potato. Sweet potato will make you... If you eat for five days straight. Because I was watching... um. YouTube where this lady was talking about the sweet potato, but you may not finish the research. I don't want to tell nobody too tough to try it. She had the sweet potatoes, sweet potato for five days and she lost a tremendous amount of weight. So we know say enough of we are fight with the belly fat, you know, the fat especially in our belly. So if sweet potato can't get it down, why not? So I plan to um to do further research on the sweet potato. But I know cinnamon is good. Because when I lost the I think it's 11 pounds that I lost. Yes, sweet potato was I mean, not sweet potato, I'm sorry. Cinnamon was a part of it cuz I was drinking cinnamon every single day. Every single day. And I was drinking a gallon of water. The more water you drink, it flushes your system, you know. And it keeps you hydrated, so. And somehow we were, were lazy, you know, want to exercise, because me did lazy, you know, man. I just know me, Jenna, Jimmy, you know, me did lazy. And, you know, we, we can't find the energy if we go to the gym. Just do some jogging on the spot in the house. And drink your cinnamon water. But cinnamon is good. Very, very good. I didn't know until I actually did the research. I was listening to Flowers Will Rose, yes. But it was when I did that research, I realized that it is in weight loss. And I decided to take it on full 100. So that week, I took it on. And I lost 11 pounds in four days. Four days. At the end of day three, I couldn't wait for day four to come to step on the scale. And when I when I stepped on that scale that day four, I scream, I jump. I could not believe it. 11 pounds in four days. And it was, I, I was having like a toast in the morning, peanut butter, and then some crackers and cheese. 
toast and egg, toast and um, tuna. Those were what I was having for breakfast. And then I incorporated the military diet. The military diet is super. So it gave me one extra drive. And I did not exercise that week because I was in Connecticut at the time. And trust me, when me see the weight, when me see the 11 pound drop in a four days, me say no. No, 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 no. So I'm taking a break this week. And next week, I am back at it. I see you, Miss Daz. I'm not going to call out your first name, but I see you. Akim, my cousin Akim Wagwan. So trust me, if you if you really have the time, do, res, do the research for yourself on cinnamon and sweet potato. Because you don't have to stress yourself over them expensive weight loss product. No. But cinnamon and potatoes are good. I can testify about the cinnamon. But can't testify yet about the sweet potato. Hey, Cheryl. But I'm honestly going to try the sweet potato. But trust me, man, if you have time, buy the cinnamon stick, not the powder. The cinnamon stick, boil it, put it in the water for boil. Then you put it in a big container like what I did. Get one of them back here from Amazon. I think, I think it's like $10 or $8. I don't remember how much we pay from Amazon. Full it early in the morning with the cinnamon water. Drink it right through the day. And we can tell you, at the end of the week, your complexion pretty and you lose weight. Trust me. A lot of persons keep, keep asking me, where are you spying your face? No, I use nothing. nothing. I don't even use soap to wash my face. Oh, it's $10 on Amazon light. Yeah, can I remember? Me, me know me buy it from Amazon, but me don't remember the price. Yeah, I mean, it really work out. You just full it in the morning and drink, 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 drink. So, I mean, your complexion is supposed to be nice, light. Cheryl, me not see you on Facebook anymore. Want me? You, you stop going on Facebook? So, guys, if you have any questions, you can just ask me. Me not stop this time. And where, where, where I really stopped the first time, you know, is that persons were telling me about the mark that was right here but then me realize that my mother did have it too when me look at my mother picture she had the mark right here so probably never because me lose no too much weight the persons were saying you're losing too much weight i wanted to get back to that stats look but when me did weigh 150 pounds that was where i was trying to go but then persons start to complain that um i'm losing too much weight and your body look good yes but looking at your face it has show up so that's when i stopped and then the weight just start pile on and then when they reach that um midlife crisis even though people some person say me too young <laughs> no the midlife crisis there put on the weight in your belly and you have to work like man or man stuff to get it off So that's why I'm using the cinnamon water. Because me don't really want to lose no holy per weight per se. So I'm using the cinnamon water. Okay, Cheryl. Oh, you're getting there, Larry. Yeah, man. So I'm using the cinnamon water. And I heard about the sweet potato. So I'm going to be, be doing some more research. And sweet potato, cause me do a whole, a whole, 
vlog on, on my, my YouTube channel, channel about um the cinnamon. And I even um, did um, a French toast with, a, I did a little Jamaican twist, even though I didn't have the Jamaican apple, but it, it was supposed to be Jamaican apple. And with the cinnamon, and it worked out so lovely with my, um, my honey, the honey came from yard, you know. So me did kind of enjoy it. Me use up a lot of cinnamon. If cinnamon could have go on everything when me eat, me that really put it on everything when me eat. But it's good. It's very good. Very, very good. It is good. So I'm going to ask again if you have any more questions. So Steve, what, what's new that is coming up for states? Yeah, oh, you cannot test that sweet potato. Um, I cannot test to the sweet potatoes. I cut most of the rice. Yeah, I haven't eaten rice in probably like... Me no want to tell no lie. Come used to have it on and off. Probably four months. Because I was using bulgur. But then when I found out about quinoa. And tried the first time. And then me did do some, some curry curry goat. Me never know. See I saw quinoa and I said no. Me don't know why nobody never tell me before. Quinoa bad. Me never know. See quinoa bad so brother. So uh, that may have have for my dinner on a Sunday. Merely have quinoa on a Sunday. The rest of the week, me not really eat food like that. Oh, they actually tell you the same thing. Yeah, because they were saying we are lose much weight for. Your body kind of, your body look good, yes, but looking at your face. And you know, if they keep telling you, you're going to want to take a second look. A true, Lorette. A true. E exactly. That's so true. So, so true. Me not listen to nobody, you know. Me not listen to nobody. And then when I realized I was wearing medium, you know. Medium frock. Me name my brother said dress medium frock. I tell you, say, man, I think I didn't look nice. I tell no lie. They might tell me, say, my face look a weird like me sick. Well, I don't eat fast food, you know. I don't eat KFC. I don't eat none of them fast food. Me not eat it, brother. Wow, you was done to an extra, but you look extra large now. You look like an XL. Well, I'm done to a large now. But me still a work on the belly. Me don't know why I'm the belly now I go down. No matter how me try. Uh, last night, me lie down there at me there and, um, Google search. This midlife crisis thing, my God. Mm -mm. Horrible, 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 horrible. Horrible. But as you said, for true, don't listen to persons. Just keep doing what we have to do. And get where we want to get. So that me really I do still. But man, me never know me could have loved Zumba so. Oh, I know. Funny the fierce. 
Yeah, every, boy, we have the problem with the belly. Me don't know, don't know what happened, brother. Me don't know what happened with your belly. Me don't know. And me can't live in a waste train every day. Me never born in a night. Me never born in a no waste train. Becky, go on, go on, my brethren. I need to lose the weight, man. And me realize, sir, me get to love Zumba. Larry, you need to do a lot of dancing. Steve, when me if you go run, go. You stop it, I'm in a love run. Cheryl, you can. Look here. Prior to me, go, the first Zumba class me go, me look like a novice. Me I tell you, me make sure me go at the extreme back. Because me couldn't do half of them. I do, me did stiff more like, what them call, when him? Yeah? Buckram? How me did stiff. Also, me waste them D1 L. One double D, 40. And girl, by the second class, me get in a rhythm. You can't stay the boy, you can't keep up. Sister Molly, what's up? You can't do the Zumba, man. Me never know say me could have danced. Me never know say me could have danced here. And where? <laughs> I make dancing puke. Just stay there. Me, love, me get to love Zumba. I didn't know I could even love Zumba. But boy, me get to love it. Can you have to find a gym? If you can't find a gym, make use of the space in your house. Me, my husband have all one football in my house. Me I start kiki. Even though my, my living space is not really that big, me I find space kick it. Me I kick it. Oh, you have a bad back. Steve, what me fi run go? What you mean say belly now go leave me? Me need fi lose the belly. Yeah. Trust me. Trust me, me need fi lose the belly. Mo get all back in a some clothes. Let me have hang up yeah. Thanks, Marlette. You know, is the, is the cinnamon water, you know? You need to start drinking cinnamon water. Throw cinnamon in your water, boil up on your stove, make it cool. Drink it everywhere you go, carry it on a water. Worse now a corona time, carry it on a water. Simple. Me always have a bottle of water in my bag, you know. Me not left one snack or one water, my dear. Me have one client up on your Rachel, no matter how me go up there. And she say, you want some water? No, me pull, pull, pull out of my bag for my water. I walk with my water. I would recommend everybody to start taking cinnamon water. Come and see where it helped me. Because that week when me lose the 11 pounds, I give credit to cinnamon water. One gallon every day. Every day, I had a gallon. Oh, I did a um a seafood mukbang. So me have corn, me have sausage, lobster, potatoes. Well, me eat half the egg, shrimp. So me did do a mukbang, but lot the food too much. You have treadmill, Cheryl, a joke I make. The other day, me tell me son, say need to buy me one because I really want something for exercise pan in my house. If I didn't have it, I would have just put in my, my hair, hair, hair piece, you see. I listen to some stats all match. Can we not have nothing for do? Me go listen back all the D cup them. And, they, and when, they, when the student, they run over champs. Me obsessed with states. So my girlfriend, as soon as as um, what's name? Mr. Wellington, brother. 
call her and say, oh, <laughs> mask already. She walk over there because me used to work right across the street. She go over there to get my mask. I'm obsessed with stits. Cheryl, you need to start exercising. Pick you up back and start, man. You know what? Her nice face, nice complexion. My product, my product for my face. People say me a bleach, but me not a bleach. Not a bleach away. Now have a thing I don't know when I'm bleaching. So Marley, you don't have any questions for me? Your sister Marley? Yes, Marley, man. Try the cinnamon water. Just boil, just boil the cinnamon stick. Not the powder, you know. Put it in the water when it's cool. Give brother Garrett. I like when I go up on the um site, one of them here you're supposed to buy for him. The gallon jug, put it where you can see it. I drink one gallon every day. One gallon of water every day. But I never remember if you pick up now cinnamon Saturday. So I have to just drink the plain water. Tomorrow I go to the road go see if I can get one. Oh, you're active throughout the day. You do a lot of walking, Cheryl. Me deal lazy if you exercise, you know, me not tell no lie. No, no lie, me not tell. But from me, friend, Mr. Santos, the master with the, <laughs> the whole part exercise them. Oh, Jesus. Exercise is good. But still, me can't, me can't do the running. I'm going home and get with my belly. But I can't run. I don't have foot. I don't have good foot. Persons that know me know that I don't have no foot. Yes, Cheryl, as, as I said before, probably you weren't on when I said it. As, I'd say I totally forgot that some persons are in Jamaica and can't get the cinema and leave. At the best part of it, that man. Remember, it's from the bark of the tree that they make the cinnamon, um, the cinnamon stick, you know. It's the bark that they, they strip the bark and then when they put it to dry, it roll up. But then might be somewhere where we up here I buy a cinnamon stick and never cinnamon stick. But for you, where they Jamaican can get the leaf, get the leaf, boil up the, the, the water with the leaf. And then you pour it in your container. Oh, no, start walk a man in time. I let me say, I'm not going to You walk in there. You never know, so I would have loved no, no exercising. I never know that I would love it. Mrs. Mahan, good afternoon. Camille, what are you Belly kind of full now. So since you're just joining, I was doing a mukbang. A Christmas mukbang. But me alone can't have them a whole of food, bro. And I, and, and only two, two somebody live, me and Palma. And Palma and I eat seafood. Mark you what's up. I choose Sherry, um, Camille, my beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, man, use the leaf, Cheryl. Use the leaf. Use the leaf. And you suppose you can get most, much um, water out of the leaf there. You kind of need no whole leaf for putting out the water. Because I, I think a two stick me did use. Yeah, two stick me did use in my water. Boil it, man, and make it seep, honey. And then when it cool, me chort it. Okay, Marky. <laughs> I know you frequent a Jamaica and I might be all a Jamaica here there uh, uh, um, on Facebook right now. Oh my, Sherry, they say me pretty. <laughs> hey. And I look like my mother, right? <laughs> I 
Achusha. <laughs> Kamili na hizi no. Everybody see me up here that know my mother. That I don't know. And um, they'll walk up to me and say, Miss Vera, your mother, right? <laughs> or you know a lady from St. Elizabeth? Or I'll say, um, I'm from Pepper. And the first thing is, you related to a lady who married to Mass Raya? Oh, you just came back, Marky. How is Jamaica? Hmm, you look like my mother. <laughs> but my little cuter. <laughs> yeah, make me blush. <laughs> yeah, because I remember um, I was working at this restaurant one day and this gentleman came in. And he looked like one of the Williams from up, up um, Fantiland Top Deso. And I said to him, are you from Jamaica? He said, yes. I said, are you Williams? He said, no. I said, oh, you look like somebody um, that I know, even though I did not know that gentleman. And then he laughed. And he said, where are you from? I said, I'm from Pepper. He said, oh, Miss Vera daughter. Miss, uh, Miss Vera last daughter, right? And we said, how oh, you know that? He said, because you look just like her. Some days me see myself looking like her, yes, and another time, me not see it. Yeah. Oh, a lot of rain down there. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, I have no question for me then. So, this is it. I'm a cross between my mother and my father. Me look like my father too. <laughs> That's nice. Who is this person? Something Alin. Rosan Alin. Roshan. Is, is Alin son that? Is that Russia? A Russian in here? I don't know, probably. So, all right then. No more questions for me. So you guys take care and remember, drink up your cinnamon water. I'm going to do a research on the sweet potato and I'll put it on my, up on my YouTube um, channel. So you take care and bye-bye.